For the first time, News for Jax is getting a much better idea of what happened to a local eight-year-old in the minutes leading up to her murder nearly three years ago. Just chilling images of the man accused of killing her and also more of the frantic 911 call made by her mother. Cherish Periwinkle's disappearance captivated this city as an exhaustive manhunt led investigators to a wooded area where her body was discovered. Donald Smith is charged with her kidnapping, rape, and murder in the summer of 2013. He is awaiting trial and could face the death penalty if convicted. Hours of surveillance video show the minute Periwinkle's family first encountered him, their visit to a Northside Walmart together, and the last time the eight-year-old was seen alive walking out of the store alone with Smith. Channel 4's Ashley Harding has been pouring through the chilling footage and the 911 calls that were made that day. She's joining us now with the timeline of what happened. Ashley? Good morning, Jen. This video is very upsetting to say the least. The surveillance video reveals a period of several hours. According to prosecutors, Donald Smith approached Rain Periwinkle and her daughters, offering to buy them clothing, since it appeared the family had been struggling. In the 911 call, Rain told the dispatcher Smith basically conned her into trusting him. Moments later, they all got into Smith's van. Later on, Cherish was gone. Surveillance video from inside a Northside Dollar General paints the picture of a tragedy beginning to unfold. From the moment eight year old Cherish Periwinkle and her family came into contact with convicted sex offender and now accused killer Donald Smith. Cherish's mother, Rain, made this call to 911 from Walmart once she realized her daughter and Smith were gone. I met him in today at Dollar General. He saw that I was struggling to buy them some clothes. He drove us here to buy us some clothes, and the only reason I went with him because she said his wife was going to be here. Surveillance video from the Dollar General shows Smith talking with the family. From there, his van is seen driving away with Rain, Cherish, and her two younger sisters inside. A short time later, they were all seen shopping together inside the Walmart on Lem Turner Road. I had a strange feeling about him when I first met him. He took her to the. He took her to the. To, to the dressing room twice and I was hoping that she would be okay and I was looking at the shoes and I didn't want him to think that I was overly protective. Prosecutors say Smith offered to buy them all food at a McDonald's at the front of the store. Instead, they say he walked out with the little girl. And surveillance video shows his van leaving the parking lot, driving right past store security. Hours later, an Amber Alert was issued for Cherish, along with the description of Donald Smith and his white van. Hi, we are calling about a suspicious van over here on a white van. Later that morning, a witness placed this call to 911, saying she had spotted Smith's van behind a church. And how long ago did you see it? Oh, oh man, good night. Night. I you picked me up from work at 7 o'clock, so that was like 7.20. It was like that. We didn't say nothing. We didn't know anything until just now. All right, and you said it's now gone? Yes. Yes, now. But you think he may have, just in case, he might have dumped something? Right, we don't know, but just in case, it looked it suspicious because okay. it was all the way to the back. And as we've reported since this happened, Smith's van was spotted on the interstate, and once police had him cornered, he was taken into custody. Cherish's body was found after police searched the woods behind that church. Smith's trial has repeatedly been delayed. For now, it's expected to start in September.